In this video, we're going over how to mirror your Motorola One 5G to your TV. Welcome back to another how-to tech video. If you find the info helpful, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell to turn on post notifications so you can be alerted every time we post new videos. Also, check out my other channel with more helpful beginner videos, smartphone, tablet, and smartwatch videos as well. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Today, we're gonna to show you how to mirror your Motorola One 5G and 5G Ace to your TV. And we're gonna show you two methods. The first method is gonna be how to directly mirror the screen to the TV and every single movement and action you're doing. So if you swipe up, you swipe down, whatever you do, it's gonna show up on the TV. And the second method, we're gonna show you how to just mirror a video from your phone to the TV. So if you're just trying to show a YouTube video or a uh, Netflix video or a movie, whatever, it'll just send the video and still allow you to use the phone to do other things at the same time. So in the first method, you will need a Google Chromecast to do this the right way. Um, you also will need home Wi-Fi, um, and you will need uh, an HD TV with an HDMI connection. Those are essentially the main things you'll need to make this work. Um, it will also work with smart TVs but uh, it really varies depending on the model and how old it is. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you the simplest way and that's using the Google Chromecast because you can essentially plug that into any HD TV and it's gonna work 100% of the time as long as you, can, you meet all the criteria, which is having the home Wi-Fi um, and having the Chromecast connected. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, make sure you switch your TV to the input that your uh, Chromecast is plugged into. And let's go ahead and slide over the phone. And so you should see this on your TV right now. You'll just see a screen that'll show the time and it'll have Google in the corner. That's how you know your TV is switched to the right uh, input and you're ready to go to mirror your screen. Next, you're gonna uh, swipe down from the top of your screen on the phone. Make sure your Wi-Fi is turned on and you are connected to that Wi-Fi network. Your Chromecast and your phone need to be on the same Wi-Fi network. Next, you're going to swipe down, swipe to your left, and look for the Screencast button and tap on that. And what should show up is your Google Chromecast. And the name of the Chromecast will vary depending on how you named it, but it should show up in this list. So we're gonna tap on that tap start now and after a few seconds you'll see your phone mirrored to the TV so now whatever I do on the phone is going to show up on the TV and th this is a great option for those of you that are trying to uh, demonstrate content on your phone maybe you're trying to teach someone how to use a new app or you're just trying to show your gameplay maybe you're playing a fun app and you want everyone in the room to see your progress, this is the easiest way to do that. Not really the most ideal method if your goal is just to show a video from your phone. Now this mode will also support uh, the landscape mode as well. So just as a quick example, if I were to go to the Play Store and I wanted to rotate the phone sideways, it will work, but if yours is not rotating, you'll first need to swipe down make sure your rotation lock is uh, turned, uh, turned off. So basically you want this to be lit up. And then second, you'll take the phone, rotate it, and then the phone should just rotate with you. So you can see um, that's how you get it to go full screen on the TV as well. When you do hold it straight up in the portrait mode, um, it will only show um, you know, the phone just in the center of the screen. So anyway, that's the first method. If you wanna stop it from mirroring to the TV, just swipe down from the top of the screen and you'll see this option casting screen, tap on the disconnect button and that will stop your phone from mirroring to the TV. So that's method one. That method again, you know, I've already kind of gone over the details. Um, great for just showing every movement, every step you do on the phone, but if you're just trying to show a YouTube video or a video from Netflix, this second method is a lot easier and it also will work with more devices. So 
Um, this will work with a Chromecast, Roku, uh, Smart TV, uh, Fire Stick TV. It works with just about all the streaming devices. Um, and again, it allows you to just send the video to the TV and still use your phone to do other things. So let's go to YouTube. Let's find a YouTube video that we can show on the TV. I'm going to just find uh, my last video. Let's pick on this one. And what you're gonna do is start the video, pause it, at the top of the screen you'll see this icon. This is your cast icon. If you tap there, this will show you all the devices that you can uh, connect your phone to. Now I do have a smart TV downstairs, it's just turned off, so uh, if you were trying to connect to a smart TV, make sure it's turned on and it's connected to your Wi-Fi. Um, I also do have a Fire Stick TV, so it'll work with all those devices. You just need to make sure that that TV is on so it sees it. This is my Chromecast and this is my Roku. So you just pick the device you want to link to. Also, if you have an Apple TV and you're trying to play it to your Apple TV, um, you have this other option called Link with TV Code. So on your Apple TV, you would simply open the YouTube app, go to the settings, and there's an option that says link with TV code. That's how you would link it up to an Apple TV, FYI. So we're gonna tap on our Chromecast just to keep it simple. And you'll see um, now the TV is gonna say YouTube and the video should start playing um, here in a second. And there we go, it's playing. From here, I can then swipe up let that video keep playing, and I can do anything else on the phone. I can go back to the web, I can do search, I can send a text message. I'm gonna have full access to my phone while the video is playing. You swipe down from the top of the screen, you can pause the video, you can fast forward the video, rewind, or you can just simply stop it by hitting the X on the screen right here. And that's how you stop it from sending that video to the TV. So these are the two different methods to mirror what's on your screen to the TV. Try to keep it short and simple and go over the main details. Hope this video was a uh, benefit to you guys. Do us a favor, hit that like button, favorite, and share the video if it was helpful. Um, again, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more awesome tech videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.